channel. I hope that you're having a great day and I'm very thankful you click on this video. There's going to be a lot of stuff. It's going to be like a potpourri and um, all kinds of different things. It's like a vlog. So I'm going to uh, show you bits and pieces from today and tomorrow. Um, my husband took the day off today. We were planning on going camping, but we're not doing that because there's a lot of fires around the area and we do have a lot of work to do. He's actually, I don't know if you can see him. He's actually back there. Um, we're, we have a big backyard project. Um, we just took down uh, two bushes out of the uh, backyard and we're getting that started so hopefully uh, we'll have it done and I will be sharing with you guys that uh, process and the final product I am super excited for it to be all said and done it's good. I knew it! gonna look so so good and um, and yeah so if you're new don't forget to give it a thumbs up to the video that really helps my channel and if you're already a subscriber thank you for coming back and i will share with you guys i'm making this donut recipe it's a new donut recipe on my previous videos so i have shared a donut recipe i'll put it on in a minute baby but um i'm trying something different this one is a gluten and grain free free uh the brand is uh cookies i believe um and it has veggies hidden in there so i love that i love the fact that it has really good nutrition in there it's grain free vegan gluten free dairy free soy free and peanut free um it looks super interesting so i am using this as the base of my donut mix and throwing a bunch of nutrition in the uh, blender to blend it all up so yeah let's get going on our day there's gonna be it's gonna be a very fun vlog i'm gonna i think i'm gonna include today and tomorrow um day so let's start it So you'll see here, uh, this is how I make the donuts with this little waffle maker and as you may know already I'm obsessed with this waffle maker. It makes it so easy to bake little treats for the kids as they call them even though I fill them with nutrition. Uh, it's so simple and easy to clean so if you're interested I will make sure to link the waffle maker on the description below for you. Um, the, the kids love these uh, cheese, cheesy dogs or cheese dogs. Um, so I am going to make this with the pastry. I'm gonna cut, them, cut this in half. Yes. And yeah, I'm gonna cook this while I make donuts. I think this one is might be ready. Yep, it's ready.
wanted to share with you these containers I just got on the mail from Amazon. I uh, I woke up this morning thinking about because I wanted to wash the the um, berries, and I always have uh, done it with my glass containers and stuff like that. But I felt like there has to be something already made for these type of things like fruits and veggies and things to kind of make it or keep them fresh. So it is a three pack and I got them on Amazon if you're interested. I'll leave them a uh, link on the description below for you so you can check them out. I think it comes in two colors, these one and then white. Um, but I went for the green one so it's more colorful. Uh, anyway, so it comes like this. Uh, this is the lid. You can uh, decide if you want to keep it breathable or seal it up. Um, it is complete. I can speak today. It's seal proof, so it won't leak if by any chance you have some liquids in there. Um, you can uh, put all your veggies in here or fruits. I already washed them because I had them already washed in the morning. But you can put everything in there, uh, put them in water, and then so once it's time to rinse them, um, you open the uh, hole down here and it will drain all the water, leaving the fruits and veggies um, rinsed up like that. I don't exactly know. Let me see. I'm not sure. Oh. I just figured that out. Look at you. All right, so you can either split it or divide it like like side sideways. Ah, oh, my finger got stuck. You can divide it like this, or uh, you can uh, divide it top and bottom, depending what you're uh, doing. So you can maybe do if you're making a salad for the week, for example. Ah, uh, this will be great for meal prepping. So you can put the lettuce on the bottom, and then cucumbers or whatever else veggies you're gonna have over here on top and then there you have it super convenient I actually really like it um, and I think it's gonna keep things a little more organized and hopefully it will stay things uh, fresh fresher longer I guess all right yummy mm. well I think I'm gonna close the day for today. Um, <clears throat> it's a pretty lazy afternoon. Um, Jane's over there worked really, really hard um, all morning um, outside cutting and trimming stuff down. And so we just ordered pizza. This is a really, really one of our favorite local uh, pizzerias here. And it's like literally around the corner for us. And it's Marco's Pizza, so I usually like the Hawaiian, and uh, the boys eat pepperoni. So, that's it for today. Not local. It's a chain. It's a chain? <laughs> okay. I thought it was just here. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, your dad has it over there. But not everywhere, right? Well, you might find it at uh, your local... Place, so it's Marco's Pizza and we really really love it so there you have it that's it for today I'll give you guys uh, more information what's happening tomorrow here we are it is 99 degrees out here at 650 in the afternoon we're just hanging out out here for a bit before the kids have to go to bed but I want to take a moment to show you guys the progress of this project. So this whole morning, my husband was working on trimming all these down to the ground. Next up is to pull these off. It sounds very easy. It's easier said than done. But get these roots out of those bushes. And then the one, the big one we were doing at night over there and the little uh, bougainvillea over there. So the total there's one, two, three, four, five, six roots. And truthfully, I'm not looking forward to it. I don't know how hard that's gonna be. It's gonna be pretty hard. I know that for sure. But hey, it will all be worth it at the end. Also, uh, he was working, He there was this uh, big 
it, it used to be a tree but now it like grows up like um bush so james was dreaming that i was well and all along the fence he did a ton of trimming today um just along the fence there's a lot of bushes uh against the fence and it's all clean now sorry i didn't take a, i didn't take a before video but um but yeah it was pretty crazy over here poor thing he was red and dripping sweat he had tons of water though it's super hot over here so it's even makes it double um much harder than than what it could be but yeah look at these boys oh my gosh <laughs> good job good morning guys i had just uh picked up my hair and a little ponytail um today is saturday and we're actually gonna be heading to a nursery because I'm so excited to get some herbs or some plants some, or uh, something. I'm not sure what I'm gonna find and what will be best to get for the season. But I think my allergies are acting up and I feel like I've been sneezing like, like crazy. And if I look like all put together, I was doing a, a little uh, video content for a brand. So I had to get all done like this uh, but we already had breakfast my lovely has husband made some uh, wonderful breakfast sandwiches and uh, we're about to I think he just wants to finish the the episode from uh, HGTV and we're gonna head out to the nursery now before it gets too hot because it, it is 8 13 and it's already 88 degrees outside so we would have very be very quick and efficient over there and um also um the dogs have a grooming appointment so i have to take them there uh and then we're gonna go to costco so i'll do a costco haul for you perhaps all right i'll see you guys in a bit and off we go to the nursery and the kiddos are eating some donuts like a treat for breakfast Huh? Thumbs up? Is it yummy? Yeah. Yummy. Donuts. guys so we're gonna get one of these but so what's the price on this one
go and this is our situation every time we go to the store or anywhere you gotta get out on this side baby somebody pulls the stroller and somebody pulls the cart I'll give you guys a Costco haul when we get home oh also another thing is that at Costco we get two receipts because the kids get upset if they don't get a receipt so they can give it to the guy and um, get a, a little drawing. Can you show us, Jace, what you got? What do you get? Is that happy, happy face? Yeah. Cool. All right. Can you get in the chair? All right, guys. We came back from Costco and I was really surprised that it was a lot less than what it was actually with all of this so it was under three hundred dollars and um, so I'll give you the little rundown before I get started I wanted to share with this uh, with you guys uh, this oil um, from my previous video I share with you guys uh, tips about skincare and eczema prone type of skin um, and I mentioned about sunflower I will be sure if you're interested it has a lot of antioxidants and um, a lot of benefits to use some, uh, some flour that you can mix with coconut oil or whatever but I wanted to be sure to share with you guys this it's from, it's certified organic and the brand is Life Flow and it's cold pressed uh, pure safflower oil so that's from Amazon so I'll link that on the description below we got some little plate, paper plates um, this was like an impulsive buy I guess it's high key mini cookies they're keto friendly um, they I actually opened them on our way back home because the kids were hungry they're actually uh, taste okay they're not the best but they're pretty good I also found these gluten-free zucchini pizza kit it already comes with the sauce and it, it's a two-pack pizza and it has um, already zucchini so I thought it was good to incorporate in our meals we uh, always get it Think. part of me with my pronunciation. Um, we must have a Miller Lite, some milk, this is for the kids, and this is for my father-in-law since he's coming to town. He wanted to have already some milk for himself, some water. We found these pots, we we're uh, doing the backyard project as, a, as I mentioned, so we might get another one, uh, we just didn't want to make a, a, such a huge portion purchase at once but it was actually the price really really good it was um forty dollars for this big huge pot and it's like um real material so i feel that's a pretty good price for what you can get usually um these type of pots and then we got some cheese uh sliced uh hardy cheese that's a, a, our go-to type of cheese for sandwiches and stuff uh, we got some eggs, organic eggs, and we use a lot of this protein. I also order one online um, through, uh, what's the brand? I can't remember. But I order, either I use this one or the one online, but since we were running short, I just wanted to get one for us. It's vanilla flavor for smoothies. Uh, James and the kids really like these as a little snack to have these cheese. Uh, Parmesan uh, snack thingy, and the kids and the and James also love these peanut butter pretzels that I even can't even stand the smell of them. I don't like peanut butter, so that's not good for me. Um, I've been wanting these little um, baking mats, silicone baking mats, for a while, and I think they were uh, they're four mats, different sizes, and they were like nine something. So they were pretty good price. Um, finally got got a hold of that, and then we got this light. It's super cool for camping and all the backyard projects that we have going on. So it is three different lights. All three are rechargeable. They're LED lights, and um, so these side lights are. Um, you are able to unplug them from the main one and you can place them, they're magnetic, so you can place them in different areas so you can have a very good lit area um, to 
you can see over here they're USB rechargeable and they're super cool and that was a pretty good price as well for this as also when we go camping that's always uh, a great thing to have um, this is the second time we tried this brand Celsius uh, it's an energy uh, acceler accelerates the metabolism and burns body fat. It's a sparkling water. It has uh, zero sugar, gluten free, kosher, and non GMO. It has different flavors, and all the flavors yeah, have been. I really good. like it. Although, I don't know if all Costco's have them. Um, this, like I said, this is the second time around we bought them, and I think they're not going to bring them back because there were very few left. On this side, that's pretty much it obviously pull-ups for the kids and also wanted to share our plants we got from the nursery let me know if you guys have any knowledge about plants any feedback any recommendations are definitely accepted so i got some watermelon here this is watermelon and i actually got seeds before and they started to grow but they didn't come. oh my gosh smells amazing so I got these um, I think this is the apple mint look at this you guys so pretty the leaves are very big too and, and soft it smells so good now uh, between that mint and then it's apple mint and then these other mint it's just regular mint uh, there it is there's a very long one here. So regular mint and apple mint. And then I got some cucumber, organic cucumber, and eggplant millionaire. This one's supposed to be like a long version of eggplant, so it's not like a fat, bulky one. It's got like a more like cucumber shaped uh, long eggplant. So I am going to plant these on my uh, garden bed that I got and that's it so I hope you guys find these really uh, great ideas for your next Costco trip and I hope you guys enjoy this video if you enjoy it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel that really really helps and it doesn't take you anything so I hope you guys have a great weekend or a great day and I will see you guys on the next one.